welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The city of Anaheim is working on a few ways in hopes of helping the homeless. Uh, with us now is the mayor of Anaheim, Tom Tate, to talk about, uh, namely, drug-free Anaheim and Better Way Anaheim. Welcome. Well, thanks, Leslie. It's good to be here. Tell us about uh, these programs, drug-free Anaheim, and how it might uh, begin to chip away the very complex issue of homelessness in the city of Anaheim. Yeah, and, and we all know it's 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 this issue is very complex. It's uh, been with us for a long time, but we all all see it. You know, we all we see it increasing. Um, first of all, the, the cities are not really uh, uh, traditionally equipped to to deal with the homeless issue. That's more of a county issue. That's where social social services are and and, and whatnot. Except but, they're at your doorsteps, and right. you have uh, always professed uh, being kind to your neighbors and they're your neighbors too. Well that, that's exactly true. So this, we are a city, we're a community, this is, we're a city of kindness. Uh, so how would a city of kindness deal with this issue? And that's what we came up with uh, uh, some programs, one called Drug Free Anaheim, which is, uh, we did a survey re recently and found that about 35 percent, at least in Anaheim, of the um, uh, folks that are homeless have some sort of addiction issue. Um, so, and, and it's not just homeless, it's, it's, it's throughout society and it's, it's really, it's, it's getting a bigger and bigger problem. So rather than, um, uh, we, we thought uh, with our police department, rather than arresting people uh, uh, for addiction issues, if you come to our police department and you have, and you're, you're an addict, uh, we're there to help you. And our police department will find help to get you on the road to recovery. Okay, I can't help but hear this and go, oh really, you know, <laughs> like if you're homeless on the streets and you're addicted, you, you, the likeliness of going into the police station and saying that, I mean, have you had any experience where they actually would do that? We, we have, we have, and it's, of course it's not, you know, it's not everybody, but those that want help uh, are, are, uh, can do that. And, it's, and of course, that's not just a, the homeless people. That's everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be cynical, and I, that would absolutely be hopeful don't because be it is the people <laughs> who ask for help who are ready yes. to get help. So, yes. say um, an addicted homeless person does show up on the doorstep of uh, the Anaheim Police Department. What happens? Well, we uh, we refer them to. Um, uh, we, we've hired a group, uh, a company that uh, refers people to uh, treatment, and there's scholarships available, and we, we get them into a treatment program. And get them on the on the path to recovery. So that's that's something that uh, it's actually the idea came out of Gloucester, Massachusetts, uh, where the police chief there started this program. So I wish I could say it's my idea, but it's it's working very well back there, and a bunch of cities across the country have adopted that. We are seeing over and over that the police departments are pulling away from arresting people for the. Um, the offenses that come along with being homeless, simply being in public, sleeping in public, uh, being addicted. Uh, but uh, is this the job for, um, you know, the police? Yeah, so, you know, it, it ties. And, and if you pull back, like if, if they stop doing what they're supposed to do as police officers, does this not continue to create the cycle of crime, you know, as we pull back on the three strikes, as we have Prop 47, you know, diminished, you know, are we just kind of spinning our wheels? Yeah, it's, a, boy, it, again, it's a complicated problem. Um, of course, it's not a crime to be homeless. So mm -hmm. it, there's a, uh, and it, there's a big, uh, and it's, it's difficult um, to tell somebody who's homeless that you have, you can't be here when there's no place for them to go. And so hopefully that will be solved not solved, but uh, um, will be helped in the near future with the opening of the homeless shelter that we're opening in Anaheim. Uh, first one in Orange County and the city of Anaheim actually uh, was a, you know, the only city to really step up to the plate to say, you know, we'll put a, a homeless shelter in our city because there's, there's, you know, everyone looks at the home, not everyone, but so many people look at the homeless issue but don't uh, want to have a shelter built in their neighborhood. What will, there, what will that shelter look like? How will the services be provided and who, uh, how many people can it serve? Well, there'll be, there'll be 200 beds. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to op it'll be opened, uh, be operated by the county. Mm -hmm. And uh, initially going to open it with 100 beds because they wanted to, didn't want to wait till another year to get it completely open. Mm -hmm. uh, and there'll be wraparound services, so it won't, won't just be a shelter, but there'll be mental health services and, and addiction services and things like that and, and job training and, and all that stuff. So um, that will, I think that will, uh, and it's a temporary, and that will get people on their feet and, and 
hopefully into permanent housing. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, with these issues like addiction and mental illness, it's very tough to solve those if you don't have a shelter, if you don't have a roof over your head. Mm -hmm. So the idea is kind of shelter first and get people stabilized so they can start dealing with these issues. Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine being on the street and having you know, depression and anxiety problems. That's tough enough if you have a, a home and a loving family. Uh, these, you know, these folks need some help to get Yeah, and get it's reset. really difficult to get a job or to have, you know, what we need is a consistency in life to perform well. Right. at all in anything that we do. So if you don't have those basic services. There's also Better Way Anaheim. What is that? Well, that's kind of, that's uh, sort of on that issue. Uh, we're, we, and I announced that in my state of the city, and mm -hmm. it's a pattern after a program in Albuquerque, New Mexico, mm -hmm. which uh, we all know what a, a, the power of a job does, not just, not just uh, the financial ability, but it's it, the uplifting mm -hmm. uh, purpose of a job. Mm -hmm. uh, so Better Way Anaheim is, is simply to uh, create a job program for people who are homeless, so those who want to work, uh, who uh, are having trouble, this gives them kind of the first step into a job, and uh, it's uh, you know, the public sector uh, with the private sector will be working together to to provide jobs for folks who are homeless and get, you know start that paycheck, start that uh, self esteem, that self worth that comes with the job, and hopefully help get them back on the path. Yeah, of, uh, make those positive connections to surround yourself with people who are uh, active and doing positive things that that also helps that consistency and the isolation that can come with being homeless too or just being with a, a small population that doesn't do anyone any good. Um, yes. Another layer of this issue, because homelessness is, so, is different as every single person out there. Right. Um, the, another layer you have coming home Anaheim and that involves uh, the people in the community. Yes, so you know, coming home Anaheim is a program we put together a few years ago which is essentially says, uh, you know, we have so many people in Anaheim who want to help. Uh, Non-profits, uh, non faith-based groups, just individuals, and they don't really know what to do. And a lot of times it's bringing, you know, maybe food to a park, which is sort of a Band-Aid approach, but doesn't really really address the problem or the issue or really really help that person in the long run. So uh, we, we brought together, um, uh, we're not managing as a city, but we're leading it through a group called CityNet, and they've come together and Bring, I think we have something like 70 uh, groups have come together. And so far, almost 700 people who were homeless are no longer homeless in, in uh, some sort of permanent uh, housing. And you, you mentioned it, it really is, uh, there's no one size fits all in this issue. You know, it has to do with people who care, coming together uh, with the person who's homeless and figuring out what their issue is and working with them. And it's been very, very successful. And we're very proud of that. And again, almost 700 people uh, are no longer homeless in Anaheim because of the, the good people in our city who, uh, who've just taken this up and said, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna help one another. And uh, I'm, I'm actually very, very moved by the kindness of the people in Anaheim in addressing this issue. Is there a missing link in this puzzle? I know you've given this a lot of thought. I've talked to a lot of people, you know, mayors and people from the supervisors. Is, is there a missing link? Is it more money, more programs, or why is the homeless issue increasing instead of not, you know, instead of going away? The, well, it, there's, it's probably a little bit of a perfect storm. You mm -hmm. have the uh, increase uh, in the housing uh, costs uh, in, in Orange County. You have uh, issues like um, uh, Prop 47 and things like that that uh, contribute to it. I think there's, um, uh, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's very expensive to live in Orange County. Uh, addiction levels are on the on the rise. There's a, it's a complicated issue, so. and I, I wish I knew I wish I knew the answer. But in Anaheim, we have three things that we're working on. At least we'll start addressing it in a, in a long-term fashion. Thank you very much, Mayor Tom Tate, for being here. Thanks, Glad Tom you Tate. could join us too. I'm Leslie Layton.